I would give Laura a five. Um, she's very attentive, you know, she seems to genuinely care. I would give Laura a five because she teaches very well. She gives help when we need help and she doesn't spoon feed us. She guides you through what you're doing and explains it to you. She gives us adequate help for us to challenge ourselves as well as to find the answer that she's looking for and the answer we need to carry out what we need to do. The work that I've done in industry, I've worked in a variety of different industries. Well, I know that she worked for a jewellery company. My first graduate job was working in the jewellery industry where we were looking at using computer-aided design and manufacture skills. She's worked quite a lot in different companies doing materials and sustainability work. It's really joining up the two different sides of the industry, working with the creative designers and how we can use technology. When she does teach us, she relates wherever she's teaching to how we can apply it and how she's applied it in the industry. Having the real examples from my experience of working in industry and saying this is why you need to know this stuff, this is the stuff that your MD is going to ask you about, these are the kind of things that you're going to need to be able to report on is really important. And if we can't get that across coherently as engineers, then we can fail at what we're trying to do. My top tips for getting ahead of the engineering industry are to work with your networks, to talk with the people that you already know that are working in the industry, to keep abreast of what the new developments are, doing any kind of internship and getting there and actually going and trying it and really understanding what engineering is by doing engineering. So Laura teaches us sustainable design and manufacture. So a typical lesson, we're given like a, a logbook, so we have to do some initial research. So that might be reading some stuff on the Moodle site or going and doing some activities. Then when we come to a lesson, we're given an experiment to perform. It's quite science-based really, but it's really interesting. Who is going to solve the big problems that the world's facing at the moment? She's obviously passionate about the subject. Um, she obviously knows what she's talking about. To solve these problems and really go out there and make a difference to the world, why wouldn't you want to be an engineer?